the starting lineup. First, for the visiting Milwaukee Bucks. At the end, let's meet the Boston Celtics. At guard, number 36, Marquez. Small four, standing six feet eleven, number eight eleven. At the point, six foot ten, number thirty eight. The other forward at six foot nine. Number 37. Starting at center. Standing 6 feet 11. Number 20. The head coach of your home team. Once again, the starters for the Austin Celtics. Hi everybody, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson at the table with basketball royalty, Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey Allie. Hey Brian, we've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. Ask Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. He said, quote, we've gotten out of control, gifting offensive players the ability to jump three or four feet. All right, Alec, good stuff there. Makes a good point. A moment here to see the numbers for Chris Middleton. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. Now let's take a look at the Bucks' opening lineup. Giannis and Portis are in the middle. Grayson Allen is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the small forward position. And for Boston, we've got Marcus Smart. And it's Paul in at the five down low. And what are the things the teams can afford to tinker with at this stage of the season, Clark? Maybe compared to later in the year. Yeah, you know, Brian, I think still working on rotations. That's certainly something that you want to try to iron out early in the season. Make sure you have units that are working best together. I think the rotation piece is probably the one thing that jumps out as being something you can tinker with at this stage of the season. Now here's Curry. Against Toronto, he was really on his game. From deep, hits the three-pointer. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Kumpo outside, down low. Paul with the block. Middleton outside. Pass to Holiday. Five to shoot. Let's the three fly. Hold in by Paul. Paul finds Paul. Portis with the steal. Holiday against Paul. Here's Portis. The shot, no good. Now Boston takes it the other way. Smart passes to Curry. Out to the right wing. Here's a three from Paul. And the Celtics another three. The bounce pass right on the money. Great setup. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Curry against Holiday. 11 feet out. And out of the Kumpo, the bucket on the assist from Holiday. And after missing their first three shots, maybe this will get them going. Curry against Holiday. There's the triple. Can't get it to drop. Now the Bucks take it the other way. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they 
were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Shot clock at three. Here's on to Kumpo. And he wills that one he in. He's sinking it right through the balls. back of the iron. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. And you know, when Giannis takes a shot, the defense wins if it's a shot outside of the paint. They want him taking jumpers. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Honor to Kumpo against Paul. Honor to Kumpo. Giannis Bam. Of From role ball. player to MVP, Giannis is improving his upper body strength has really been a factor in his overall development. Now here's Paul. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. You know, Clark, with Giannis, it's impossible to keep him out of the paint. Well, once he gets in there, it's too late. I mean, fortunately, he knows that's his strength, and he butters his bread in there. Still, sometimes, he'll bail out a team with that jump shot. Here's Allen. He had nine points in his last time out. Everyone loves the alley you play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Holiday in the game against New York. Very impressive. Allen inside, defended by Smart. Middleton outside. The Bucs need to get up a shot here. Giannis and Giannis the with the chance. Assisted. Man, it would be kind of cool to be Giannis for just one game. He makes dunking and getting to the rim look so easy. Curry, no good. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. The shot by Holiday, no good. No, he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Pass to Paul. For three. The shot no good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Holiday from long range. Nails it from three. Holiday. Holiday's got five points. Well, that's just an indefensible shot that time. I mean, Holiday going deep into his bag on that shot. That's it fly. Shot is good by Curry. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Middleton outside. He tries again. And it's good That's on the lay-in. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. It's smart on the wing. The three is up. The rebound by the Bucks To the middle. Oh, and Giannis nice. hammers it in. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent Hello. awareness. Celtics. And the Celtics call time here. Well, you can't ever feel safe with Holiday on the floor. Grant, he is one of the great ball hawks in the NBA. Yeah, he reads plays very well. He has a good wingspan to swipe away errant passes. One of the many reasons Holiday is such a great defender. Brown, he's checked in for Curry. Lopez. Substitution on the court. Here's Connaughton. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Carter with it. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first. Lopez. That one's off. Still out of sync. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Hits the trifecta. He's got 12. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Pass to Ibaka. He got it up. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Celtics out in front. They lead by 12. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break.
one thing that makes the Greek freak so dominant is he drives to score, but also to pass. He breaks it down for us. I'm a lot more comfortable. Uh, it's because my teammates trust me, my team trusts me to make the right play. And, you know, lately, late uh, in the game, I'm just trying to make the right play. That can be a pass, uh, that can be a shot. But that's my mindset down the stretch. Grant, I love that Giannis is not worried about the numbers. I mean, B.A., he just wants to win. That's another thing that makes him great. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play. This one has been one-sided so far. And a very convincing performance from the Celtics so far. Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. They've got Serge Ibaka, George Hill out there with Javon Carter. Then there's Pat Connaughton, and it's Lopez in at the five. Here's Connaughton. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Knicks in New York. Lopez passes to Hill. Shot clock at six. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. You know, one of the things that makes George Hill so good defensively is that tremendous length, and it helps him rebound the ball, too. Hill against Curry. Outside Tatum. From deep three-point range. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Tatum's got seven. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. Now here's Carter. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow. And it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Here's Williams, and Williams punches it home. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Good. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Curry. He's got five. On the take. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Here's Hill. Some solid defense from Williams. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher, so the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better, trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? He's using the regular season to experiment, Ali. Interesting. Thank you. Now here's Hill. Pass to Connaughton. to Hill. Puts up a three. No luck on that one. Nice D from Brown. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Timeout call. Milwaukee. And Grant, you were named co-rookie of the year alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Now, nah, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time. But it was really an honor to share this award with someone of this caliber. Really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> and some changes here for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Allen in for Carter. Outside, Hill. To the paint. Here's Ibaka. And the shot's good. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. Now here's Curry. Ten points for him. That won't go either for Curry. 
You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates George have picked up Hill. the slack for him. That's what Assist being on the team is all about. Racing they have Allen. no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Here's Curry after the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. The drive by Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Really hard to slow Tatum down on his drive because he's relentless. I mean, he's going to finish whether somebody's in his way or not. This guy's a load offensively to deal with. And so it's Milwaukee with it, following the bucket by the Celtics. Pass to Allen. Portis, right side. The three sinks the tray. Three. It's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age, and this guy can really stretch the floor. Curry against Portis. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, the NBA has said we're in a transformational period. We have to earn viewers. Clark moves like the play in tournament, looking to attract those viewers. Well, you know what, B, I like the initiative the NBA has taken there. Clearly, you have to continue to create and innovate and adapt as a league. I think it's smart to try new things. And I think the play in tournament added a level of excitement, not just with its, new, its newness, but with the competitive nature of those playing games. So I think it's something that may find its way as part of the regular calendar going forward. Holiday and a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Holiday's gotten his third basket of the night. And a deep three from Curry. Boston, no good that time either. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. And Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Curry finds Paul. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Now here's Holiday. Seven points in the game. Out of the Kumpo to pass to Holiday. And the box hit again Holiday. from deep. He got off to a slow start. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game. He's turned it on here in the second. And here's Curry for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. And this is their first time matched up with the Celtics this year. And this is a matchup they expect to win. Certainly, last year they were the stronger ball club. Yeah, and very tough to beat when they're playing up to their capabilities. That's why they're one of the top teams in the league. He's cold from distance here in the second quarter. He may want to try a different approach moving forward. Here's Middleton. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. The Celtics have gotten 7 of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Curry passes to Paul. Shoots over Portis. Offensive rebound. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Paul's got four points this quarter. <laughs> Their intensity has only picked up this quarter, even while holding the lead. Yeah, I love the energy they're playing with. I say it this way. Good teams, championship teams, play against the game as much as they play against the opponent. Nice uptick here in the second chance point in this quarter. Milwaukee has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. High arcing shot. That's good from Holiday on the assist from Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo's got his fourth assist with that last one. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. And they get it back. And the basket he by Anadokounmpo. Now a timeout called by Boston. Protecting Boston. the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Coming on up to the court. Come on and get wild. Here are the Celtics Sensors. Switch here. And so it's the Boston Celtics closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. A three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possession. Back after this. And now the 2K.
2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. Out in front of the half is Boston. They lead by 11. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? The production they've gotten from their bench has been phenomenalistic. I don't know if that's a word, but it sounded good. As we know, depth is important to any team's success. They're demonstrating that. And who knows, it might get the starters in the game. No one wants to be outshot. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? They really got to turn the intensity up in the second half. You look at their free throw differential between the teams, it's a big gap. They need to be more physical and start earning more fouls. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. we dive into the second half we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two so far it's been a runaway it's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo and given that he's just delivered a double double through two quarters I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night yeah he's got that locked in look in his eyes tonight and he's not going to start taking it easy I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows and with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We've got Marcus Smart, and it's Paul in at the four. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Here's Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. Always good to see Giannis get his teammates involved because he knows he can't do it alone. The three from Curry. The rebound by the Bucks. Portis has got four rebounds now. On the wing, Holiday. He's covered by Curry. And he makes it. Holiday. Holiday's got 14 points for the game. They're finding ways to get the ball to the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Oh, there's the alley. And the jam by Kumpo. You know, when Giannis is being this aggressive on offense, he can be really hard to stop. The defense needs to make an adjustment. Boston again missing. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Hey, yo. Smart grabs a miss. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. To the inside. And Paul gets it to go. 11 points in the game. And that's got to be a relief. Finally getting something to go here in the second half. Holiday against Curry. The offensive rebound. And there it is for him. Holiday's gotten four this quarter. Boy, such good instincts and agility. Makes Holiday really dangerous on the offensive glass. That time he fought to keep the play alive and got the bucket. And the basket by Curry. Milwaukee's got five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Holiday passes to Anacumpo. to Middleton. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Holiday. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. And a deep three from Curry. Rebounded by the Bucks. Defense better watch out. They better be alert. Because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Holiday against Paul. Here's Anadokounmpo. And he paddles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. And now just a three-point Boston lead. Over to the left wing. Outside Curry. Beyond the arc. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Curry's got 17 points. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. 
that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Timeout call, Milwaukee. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys substitution on the court. And so it's Boston with it. Seven point differential. Curry. Milwaukee with the rebound. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. 11 feet out. Second chance shot. And the layup good by Lopez. Lopez has got five points now in the quarter. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from him. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. Tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Mark, you look at how Holiday has attacked on offense. He's gotten much more selective with his spots. To me, B.A., he's just more comfortable offensively. He's always been aggressive, but he's got a confidence to him now that is allowing him to really put the pedal to the metal offensively. I think something just clicked for him when he was with the Pelicans. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him because of it. Both shots good from the strike. The Celtics with the lead. And a deep three from Curry. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Curry's got 20 points. And just a beautiful looking shot from long range. And the basket by Holiday. Holiday. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. And here's Curry for three. Drills it from deep. 23 points in the game. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. And Holiday powers it home. Going off himself tonight. Holiday won't do this every night. But if his team needs his scoring, he can provide it. Middleton against Curry. Five on the clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Call. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Holiday against Curry. Now here's Holiday. Not a lot of room. And the box hit again from deep. Boy, from three-point range, Holiday can really be effective now. He's worked on that part of his game over the years and forces the defense as a result to have to come out and guard him at times. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third. Both teams putting up some points. It's the Celtics up by four. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. On the floor for Milwaukee starting the fourth quarter. Giannis plays the four with Lopez in the middle. Grayson Allen is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small forward. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Assisted by And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, 
you look for every edge you can find. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Celtics lead by four. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Called in by Brown. Brown's got his fifth rebound in this one. Curry from deep three-point land. That won't go either for Curry. For Milwaukee, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Allen on the wing. He's guarded by Paul. It's Middleton on the wing. Floats one up. And a good offensive First board, Middleton. and he gets the bucket. A slow start for him, but making amends here in the second half. Here's Paul. That drops, and it comes off with assist from Curry. Curry's got his sixth assist of the night. And he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. You know, brick after brick after brick. I mean, that's been the story for him this quarter. I mean, he's got to brain it in down the stretch here. Ooh, he really came close to leveling the score there. Yeah, you know, and after the way they fought back into it here in the fourth, that would have been a big bucket for him. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. You know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, these hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Inside. And it's slammed in by Paul. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for. The three from Curry. And they'll get another chance. Fires for three. Rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got his sixth rebound on the night. That's tipped. And here's Curry for three. That won't go either for Curry. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. To the wing on the left. And here's Lopez from the arc. Rebounded by the Celtics. Paul's got four rebounds now. Pass to Curry. From deep. No luck on that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. And following this one, they'll take on the Hawks in Atlanta. And that'll mark the end of this five-game road trip. Paul against Allen. Holiday up top. Allen, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Up and in on the layup. Anadokounmpo's got 27 points. You know, inside, Giannis' length really helps him get by the defense. Not much they can do to trip him up or slow him down. He's a four. He hit a couple from range in the first half, but now his confidence is through the roof. Don called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game in every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Switch here. Paul's checked in. The Bucks also with a sub. Portis has checked in. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He was really urging them to stay after it, saying, quote, we're right there, guys. Keep playing for one another, and let's take this game. Bringing the inspiration. Back to you. As always, Allie, we thank you. And here's Curry for three. And again, Boston with the triple. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. To the left side wing. Puts it up from 12. Hauled in by Paul. 
Paul's got rebound number seven tonight. And here's Curry for three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Curry's got 34 points. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. And a deep three from Curry. Giannis with the rebound. Well, the Bucks shooting at 49% so far in the game. Allen, pass to Holiday. From behind the arc. And Allen is good for three. Allen. Allen's got five points, points in the quarter. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. The three from Curry. Pure from three-point range. And the Celtics lead by 11. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. It's Holiday with a drive. Count it. Good. Holiday. Holiday's got 31. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. Curry against Holiday. Launches a three. Rebound, Milwaukee. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Oh, and there's Boston the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first. And on many other teams, Chris Middleton would be the star, Clark. But he plays the Robin role pretty well. Hey, I tell you what, B.A., there is nothing wrong. Taking with being 1A on the marquee when you're playing next to Giannis. He's overshadowed by the media because of Giannis, but his game makes a lot of noise all over the NBA. The three from Curry connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A., unbelievable. Pass to Allen. To the middle. Paul with a steal. Curry against Holiday. Offensive rebound. Celtics. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Curry's shot is off. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. And here's Curry for three. Drops in the three. Curry's got 43 points. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. Here's the three. Adetokounmpo grabs the board. Adetokounmpo has got 15 rebounds here tonight. And a deep three from Curry. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got seven rebounds in the game. Two minutes. And he's going for the oop here. Ooh, Paul with the block. And a deep three from Curry. The rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Outside Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. To the paint. Here's Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome. Off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. And a deep three from Curry. Austin, no good that time either. The Bucks trail. to Kumpo outside. Pass to Allen. Lets it go from deep. Offensive rebound. And the basket by yes. Adana Kumpo. Adana Kumpo's got 10 points here in the second half. And in addition to his great talent, Anta Kumpo has the reputation of being an outstanding leader as well. He's a clutch player who demands the ball in these situations. You love that. Holiday from long range. He can't get it to go. And the Celtics going the other way now. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Portis down low. He's guarded by Paul. Portis' shot is off. 
Don't do anything silly. Just ride out the clock. Yes, if they take the time and execute, the game is all theirs. Here's Milwaukee. They trail by 11. Holiday. Oh, Paul with the block. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. The three from Curry. Milwaukee with the rebound. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. I have to. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. We'll see you next time.